Imbecile the Ruger. Hold on a second. There you go. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about uh, Ted Nugent uh, firearms and uh, show you uh, my AR7. I'm sure you've seen this uh, model before. And I've seen some other models uh, that are made that are like this. Uh, like the metal ones, for instance, like the 22 and the 410. And I like this one. Like, it's, it's super lightweight. It's uh, watertight. Um, and I understand that, you know, I could, I could bang this against something and break that bit of plastic off, and then it's, uh, I'd have to order another one. And the metal ones are really cool, but this one won't mess up my backpack or anything like that. It's just real fun. I don't think, you know, I'm not going to be parachuting out of a plane or anything. But, uh, got the receiver there, and, uh, an empty magazine. <laughs> I may, I may use, uh, words, uh, that aren't actually gun accurate. Isn't that neat? That's very cool. Hi, Keena. Um, anyway, Ted Nugent said some stuff, and, uh, oh, this one. Little teeny baby 22s. Inexpensive, fun to shoot. You get subsonic, of course. Uh, so they're, essentially, they're like, uh, shooting a BB gun. And, uh, just fun. Marksmanship's fun. Um, you know, so they come with two of those. I'd like more. I don't really know where to get more. I haven't done any kind of research, so. Um, but Ted Nugent said some stuff, and uh, the Nuge is awesome. And uh, he could say some things that might mean anything, but what it really means is people are going to be talking about the Nuge. And, uh, you know, his radio program is awesome. Uh, his, uh, his listenership will be really responsive. And he gets paid to go to those events. He's, he's a paid speaker. And, uh, you know, so whatever, like, he might imply some things. There we go. It's the barrel. Relatively clean, too. I actually know, I know my way around cleaning a, uh, an AR-7. Um, but here's the thing about, well, like, when Obama got elected, um, actually, I went out and purchased a rifle, um, because I had a friend, I had a friend to help me, a friend that knew what he was talking about, and uh, I got the rifle before Obama was elected. And uh, by the time Obama was elected, that value of that rifle had gone way up. I could have immediately sold it for a profit, like a healthy profit too. Could have bought a big box of these, <laughs> um, and it's been steadily going up the value of this rifle. And I guess, I guess now, if the new just freaking people out. If other people are freaking people out, then the price will keep going up. And, uh, oh, did I bring that box of ammo? So, like, getting a box of uh, 22 ammo used to be relatively easy. But now, uh, you could buy, like, those little teeny plastic slide boxes of 22 ammo, and they're really expensive. Why? Because people are freaking out. Uh, so... The, 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 the thing is, is that this, uh, it makes the nuge money. Uh, it makes people who sell firearms money. Um, and all, it doesn't need to be based on anything. It could just be based on uh, fear. Uh, like, how much, uh, how much money do you, uh, how, much, how much of these things does an American spend on fear? And uh, I'm not saying we shouldn't buy guns or... Um, or anything else, uh, or, in, you know, invest in, uh, hideaways out in the woods. Um, you know, because if, if, if it's your money, you should do what you want. I'm talking about people who actually drive up the price of hideaways in the woods, or drive up the price of, uh, isn't that nice? Super lightweight, a lot of fun. So, yeah, I don't think Obama's going to do anything uh, that's going to mess up uh, gun rights or put anybody in jail uh, necessarily. Um, 
probably going to do, uh, he's going to get reelected, um, I believe. So, I th but I think he's probably going to just be a little bit more uh, uh, present, being a president uh, slash boss. Um, you know, the the whole like uh, uh, the, the the three stands of uh, our country. Um, the president gets an opportunity to strut his stuff a little bit more and throw his weight around a little bit more than uh, uh, the rest of our system. And I think he's going to do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't think that we have anything to worry about. I think the only thing we have to worry about is people freaking out so much that I can't go buy a box of inexpensive 22s um, because they're not available or uh, people are storing up on them or or something ridiculous like that. Am I putting this in the right place? No, I'm not. Um, so, I mean, that's just my opinion. It, uh, it might not be worth anything. But uh, in my experience, looking at the past, um, Obama didn't do anything that made me think that uh, he's against gun ownership. Empty clip goes in. Keyless is a little concerned about this because he knows it makes very bad noise. And then this has a little slot it goes in there. You crank it down on top. It's ready to go in the backpack. So yeah, I've probably, I've probably covered my, probably made my point. Um, fear drives up prices. Fear makes uh, the economy takes dips, and uh, certain people profit. And uh, unfortunately, Nuge, Nuge, you profiting off this. So be it, you know. We all we all got to make uh, we all got to make our our greenbacks uh, as best we can. Um, I just never would do it by trying to uh, uh, t to purposely make people fearful. Though I am completely aware that the investment I made in that rifle now is uh, um, it's almost like a free investment by now. So I'm actually going to make money off people's fear and. Uh, it's a shame, but uh, brother needs shiny bicycles. All right, Mr. Ruger. peace out, my friend.